Eric Keller here. Welcome to another tour of the EAG behind the scenes facilities. This is our newest building. Very proud to call this one Madison in homage to our very first facility on Madison Road. This is where we store the majority of the EAG collection and have some offices for future growth and development. I want to thank everybody for the support and the business over these years. It's a blessing to do what we love every day for a living, meet a lot of great people along the way and work hard to become and maintain the position of the best of the best in the MCAR community. This little tour will certainly reinforce that point. So we have an M4 GTS. It was kind of cool to get a voucher from BMW in North America to be selected to buy one of these. Fits in with the collection quite well. This is a Sparkling Graphite 06 M3 Comp Slick Top. Sold it a number of years ago, and when we bought it back, we couldn't let it go. It's now Evan's fun driver. This is the first D36 M3 Lightweight that we acquired way back when. We've sold it five times to five of some of our absolute best clients. Maybe some of you guys watching remember this car because you've probably owned it before. 43,000, 44,000 miles now, and it's sitting next to the car that replaced it in the EAG collection. This is a 47 mile, all original, lightweight CSL. All the GT parts still new in the box in the wrappers. Very honored to own this car. O2M Coupe. This is the eighth one that we've owned personally. It's a Sunroof Delete, one owner, Laguna Seca Blue over black, gray, two-tone. About 3,200 miles. Z1s. Most people have not driven one of these yet. It is an absolute riot. The whole drive a slow car fast certainly applies to the Z1. Magic violet in color. Got the EAG Diamond M2, fully equipped with the optional Recaro car seat. A couple of cars that are for sale. It's an 02 M Coupe, Sunroof Delete, 27,000 miles. An 05 M3 Alpine White, Cinnamon, 12,000 miles. 90 M3, Sporty though. Black Beauty was the nickname the second family gave this car that had owned it since 1991. Converted by Birds UK, one of about a dozen or so right-hand drive sporty bows known to exist. The car's currently for sale. Affectionately, we call this 50 Shades of Grey. Lots of miles, lots of smiles along those miles. 2.5 Alpha N, Carbon Air Box, rebuilt by the quite notable and respectable Ben Thongsai. 1990 M3 stock, US spec, 24K, former Greenwich Concour winner, previously owned by Gordon Mendenica. It's the first BMW CCA executive vice president. It's the first Sport Evo that we purchased. Came out of New Zealand. Met the guy in LinkedIn, of all things. Really happy to have this car in our collection. It's a Sunroof Delete. Italian market car, AC, really stunning condition. 88 M5. The first E28 M5 I bought was the very first M car I'd ever owned. And driving that car almost two decades ago is really what motivated me to start this business and focus on the M brand. That car, even I, I had probably 17 or 18 cars before I bought my first M5 and this car blew all of those out of the water and really changed my perspective on how a car should drive. I bought this car in 2009 from the original owner, Robert Gerber, at 5,125 miles. Sold it to a really good friend of mine in Southern California where he did the proper Euro bumper conversion, Euro headlights. Of course, we had to add the Alpina staggered 17s. Over here, we've got a lot of cars that are currently waiting for their new homes. We've got a 88 Henna, 31,000 mile car. Second time we've had it. 
We sold it to David in Atlanta, pretty well-known guy in the E28 community. Previously owned by Tom Milner, who had a pretty big hand in the lightweight program. I've got a 1M, it's a 2011 one owner. It's a no navigation car. 99 M3 Astoral on Mulberry with 19K. This is a 1990 M3 Zinnebrot, 87,000 miles. Has a period correct Corman Road Sport kit. Car drives almost as nice as a Sport Evo. This car's got an awesome story. First owner is Carl Yankowski. Carl's a Boston resident. Flew here to Cincinnati to buy this back in 1987. Very early car, 19,000 miles. Carl was a very interesting guy to talk to. He had lots of stories. Uh, he was the gentleman that was responsible for inventing the Palm Pilot, which would be pretty much the first smartphone. Lime Rock. This car is indicative of the EMG story. Bought it from the first owner, sold it to the second owner when it had 6,000 miles, South Carolina. Bought it back at 12,000 miles, sold it to the third owner, Kent. He misses this car. However, now with his F80 M3 comp that was just in yesterday for Dynantronics, I'm sure he's falling in love again, now with 25K. 03 M5 stock, Sterling on black. This is one of the best trade-ins ever. 87 Carrera M491 wide body. It's Evan's fun run around driver and as much as we love our BMWs, we do appreciate a, a, a great 911. Back here we've got a, another Long Beach Blue M2 six speed 2017. Another great example of the EAG revolving inventory model. I bought this car probably 2012 with 19,000 miles from the original owner that was moving out of the country. Sold it, bought it back at 27,000 miles. Sold it to a doctor in Texas. Uh, brought it back in at 29,000 miles. Sold it to a local fella, Chuck. He's on the Cincinnati Orchestra. He traded it in on an E30 M3. Car now with 32,000 miles and four trips through the EAG reconditioning and re rejuvenation program. You're not gonna buy a better sorted E39 M5 than that one. Not for the mileage and the money. 01 Z3 M Coupe, two owner, Phoenix Yellow, one of 21 built, all original. It's pretty impressive how well the paint has held up. Stone chips, but not a ton of them. And we'll certainly repaint the bumpers if the next owner so chooses or keep it original and honest. Next owner's decision. Another pair is S54 Z3 M Coupes. We've got an 02 with about 33.9 on it for miles. And another 01 repeat car with about 34,000 miles of 2001. These are absolutely marvelously fun cars to drive. Thanks for tuning in. Certainly continue to subscribe to our YouTube page with lots more videos and updates coming as we progress through this fun, fun hobby that we call our career. Like our Facebook page, lots of posts every week with new and exciting things that are going on at the shop. We certainly appreciate all the support over the years to help us get to where we're at and certainly look forward to the future and the ride that uh, comes along with it. Thanks for tuning in.